So my wife told me that the Instapot, which she uses all of the time, uh, completely stopped working. Like it wouldn't even power up. And so I went online, tried to look around to see if there's anything that we could do because I didn't want to take it into, into the shop just because it just seemed silly to do that. And I figured I couldn't ruin it any more than it already is ruined because it's not working. inside of the machine. Uh, let's see. All right. What I'm going to do is go here, 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 pull this out so I can get a better look at what's going on inside here. Note, it is not plugged in. That is a fuse, and I really think that this fuse is blown. So I used my voltage detector, and uh, it appears as if uh, I was right that uh, there should be a, a issue with that fuse. Now, in order to get to it, I have to get down into here, which means... It's like, oh, it's easier than I thought. Uh, just kind of removing this without breaking anything. And I should be able to, again, it's unplugged. Another thing you can always do is take a picture of stuff before you take it apart in case you uh, want to get it back to the way it was. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to this. All right. And then I'm going to need to cut that. Open it up. And another thing I want to make sure I do is I want to make sure that I remember which direction it's going. All right. And that is the fuse. That's about now what I'm going to have to do is strip this out, leaving enough of the metal here so I can solder it. Probably the real reason that I decided I would do this is because uh, I just uh, received this. This is my uh, Craftsman, um, and it was from my dad. It was recently bequeathed to me, and I've never used it before. In fact, I never even looked up how to use it uh, because, well, that's how you learn. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to solder this here and then this here, and we'll see how it works. I really have no idea what I'm doing. What I've done is I've soldered these. Now I'm going to put this sheath back over it, reattach it, and see what happens. That should be good. Let's hook that back up. If we get any power now, it's better than what we had before. So we'll see. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I get really excited about this. Now, I know it says off, but theoretically that actually means on. So there's a good chance that I just fixed it. All you got to do is, at uh, that, that last point, is put this back on. It just kind of push it in, turns to the side, 
and use this to, uh, to reattach it. I think it's going to work. The coolest thing is that uh, if it does work, it saved me taking it in. Uh, my wife said that it was only a couple bucks to order the, uh, the fuses. And uh, I got a chance to use this, which is really awesome. Uh, I will also, immediately after doing this, I'm going to figure out how to use that properly because I didn't, I know I didn't use it properly. But uh, if, I, if I made this work, uh, my wife's going to be very happy and that in turn makes me very happy. Hey, sweetie. Yeah. Look. Oh, it works. 